a quick update video here to uh, correct some inaccuracies not inaccuracies of mine of course but inaccuracies of the screen on this USB dummy load and uh, thank you to Javier who got in touch I hope I've pronounced your name right on my last video about this USB load and explained there is a calibration menu and I'm going to attempt to get into it right now so I'm going to use my Orkey desktop charger for this because I know you need a, a power supply that can provide 2 amps and uh, my portal power meter which I believe is pretty accurate. So that's showing 5.175 volts. If I hold down the button on the USB load and plug it in we get into this menu uh, which shows 1.88 amps. Well that's a bit away from where we are so if I adjust the load to exactly 2 amps according to the port pal overshot slightly oh that'll do I think and then we double click the button the number flashes and we double click again now it shows 2 amps and then a single click after that and we get into voltage and uh, that seems to be pretty accurate so the same would apply if we double click on this figure here and then double click again that seems to now have settled on 5 volts and then Oh yeah, there's more menus. Um, presumably that's when the alarm sounds greater than 22 volts. And again, less than 3 volts. Presumably the same thing when it alarms. Um, more than 5 amps, the same thing I guess. Times 1. Not the foggiest what that means. But there's also a maker's mark there, it's got a number 4000-137-889 and it's www.juweich.com forward slash bbs and then we're back to the beginning again. So if I disconnect this again and plug it in without pressing the button Hopefully the numbers on the port power and the numbers on the USB load will tally up quite nicely. Uh, so that voltage I think I need to look at again, 4.99 volts, but exactly 2 amps. And if I increase that a bit, 2.86 amps on the port power, but 2.95 on here, unfortunately. Change it to 1 amp. Yeah, it remains a little bit inaccurate, doesn't it? That's a shame. I think this theory can also be applied to this USB charger doctor here, uh, which uses the same screen, and I'm assuming the same processor. So if I hold that in there, this is actually incredibly dim on screen because of this cloudy thing. Let me take it out of that. So with this cheap charger doctor, it clearly is exactly the same screen, isn't it? Uh, let's see if we can do the same thing. So we'll hold the button down on here and power this one up. Um, 2.1 amps well it's slightly over two amps now let's just adjust that finally to exactly two amps that will do me double click the button there we go two amps single click back to voltage well no 
Double click and double click. That seems to be the way. 5 volts. And I think we've calibrated this one as well. Five volts, two amps. Well, that's pretty accurate now. So thank you, Javier. Yes, you can calibrate these devices. Um, however, it doesn't make them massively more accurate. Uh, if you calibrate to two amps, it's pretty accurate, two amps, but you go to one amp or three amp, and it starts drifting quite considerably again. Uh, but that's been an interesting little test. Hopefully some people will find it useful. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.